Well, from six inch seedlings to giant sequoias, 150 feet tall, California's trees, they're a precious resource. And their recovery after devastating wildfires, it's no small task. So after putting out the flames, Cal Fire is also working to help restore forests. Yeah, I recently got a chance to go inside that effort at their reforestation center in Davis. Tree by tree, acre by acre, wildfires tear through California forest land. Flames destroying timber from Tahoe to the coast. <laughs> But as the smoke clears and Mother Nature tries to heal, Cal Fire crews are still hard at work to give our future forests a head start. Especially after a fire season like this fire season, we have now millions more acres that are going to need to be reforested, both on federal and private lands. That process begins with pine cones, 2,100 bushels carefully collected branch by branch from across the state. All converging in Davis at Cal Fire's Lewis A. Moran Reforestation Center. Cal Fire is made up of uh, two parts, the forestry and the fire protection side, but at the end of the day, we're all one team. This part of the team specializes in seeds, tossing and tumbling the pine cones to shake them free. And we get it wet. Then it's on to de-winging the seeds and sorting out debris by hand. The seeds are even x-rayed to ensure they're healthy. In the end, the seeds are packaged up and boxed up, stored in this special freezer called the Seed Bank. This one seven pound bag could eventually produce 14,000 trees. Then it's time to get on to growing. We try to mimic the nature. Inside the greenhouse, nursery manager Kuldeep Singh tries to give these future giant sequoias a fighting chance. What is the likelihood of that? little tiny vulnerable plant surviving. I always compare the seedlings to human beings like if they get everything they want for their survival they will survive. These seedlings will be planted by hand on state and privately owned land. Similar efforts are underway by the U.S. Forest Service as well. And there's no question once the seedlings are in the ground their strength will be put to the test. It's not as if the nature hasn't experienced tough times before, let's put it that way. However, we are finding that the effects of climate change are negatively impacting the forests as we see them right now. Forests facing an increasing fire threat, but getting a small head start at growing back one tree at a time. So the seeds and seedlings Cal Fire grows are available for purchase by private landowners, and it is a labor-intensive process planting all of those seeds and seedlings by hand. But there is new technology that could speed up the process. And tonight at 10, how companies are using drones to help restore forests faster.